Now that we have seen how the ROB-based processor works when we have reservation stations for separate units separately, let's talk about unified reservation stations. So this is what we had so far. We had three reservation stations for the add unit and we had two for the multiply unit. This also does subtracts, this also does divides. And we have seen it in at least one of our examples that we can run out of these reservation stations while well, we still have plenty of these left. However, we still couldn't issue instructions. Basically, once we cannot issue an instruction because it needs one of these reservation stations, because issue needs to happen in order, we cannot issue any of these either. So until these reservation stations become available, we cannot really use the available ones here. Note that these reservation stations are exactly the same, except that this one is feeding this unit and this one is feeding this unit. But the logic in them is exactly the same. They're monitoring all of the results that are broadcast, capturing results, and then going to execution units. So to improve our ability to use the expensive reservation stations, we can go with the so-called unified reservation stations approach, where all of the reservation stations are in one big array. Now when we need to issue, we need to grab one of these reservation stations, but it doesn't matter which unit it is for. Basically, all of the reservation stations are equal. So the benefit of this is that as long as there are any available reservation stations, we can issue instructions. The drawback here is that the logic for dispatching instructions into these execution units becomes a little bit more complicated. Here, for issue into the multiplication, we only needed to see whether one of these is available, and if one or more are available, select one. Meanwhile, here we are selecting one of these three and sending it to the add unit, and if more than one are available, we have to figure out just which one of the three. Here, however, every cycle we need to select one of these for the add and one of these for the multiply, so we need to actually consider which one of these are adds to go here, which one of these are go multiplies to go here, and then every cycle we need to select one of the adds and one of the multiplies to go there. So the logic for dispatching becomes more complicated here because we have more reservation stations to look at, and we also for each unit need to look at reservation stations that just have wrong things for that unit, so we have to ignore them. But again, reservation stations are very, very expensive, so usually processors will use some variant of this organization rather than this one. Basically, we don't have each unit having its own reservation stations. Typically, a group of units will have a reservation station so that we can benefit from our reservation stations if we have them.